Welcome to Gardening with Miss Carrie. Today we're going to talk about mulch. Now mulch is one of the most important things you can do for your garden. The most important thing is to make sure that the soil in your garden is rich with nutrients and mulch is one way to make sure that happens. You never want exposed soil. So in this um, garden bed you have lots of exposed soil. So we want to figure out what kind of mulch is going to work best in this uh, garden. Now I want to be able to feed the soil and so I'm going to want it to be some sort of organic mulch and this video is going to show you lots of different types of organic mulch. The organic mulch that I've picked for this particular bed is quartz. And the great thing about any organic mulch is that it creates, when you put it down, it creates a home for millions of billions of microorganisms that are going to feed your soil. Those beneficial microorganisms, when I say microorganisms, it means that they're so small, you have to have a microscope to be able to see them. But they're there and they're feeding your soil, they're feeding your plants, and they are eating up all of the different um, organisms that are actually harmful for your soil. So it's important to have them there. And another thing that mulch does besides creating a home for all those beneficial microorganisms is it acts when you layer soil with it, it almost acts like a lid on top of the soil to keep the moisture in. And the heat isn't uh, as easily able to get to the soil to make that moisture evaporate out. Think about when you're boiling a pot of water and you put the lid on and you can see all the steam get caught um, as water droplets on top of that lid. Soil is kind of acting as that lid. Uh, not soil, uh, mulch is acting as that lid. But it's also not so compacted, compact is when it's really pressed together, it's not so compacted that it doesn't also allow airflow because remember we also want lots of airflow. And that's why when you use, if you, if you really want to su uh, suppress that airflow, you can use a thick layer of grass clippings or anything that's really gonna get really compacted uh, if you want to stifle weeds in that area because without any uh, airflow, you're not gonna be able to have your plants. Another way to do that, besides if you don't have a plethora of grass clippings to put down, is you can use um, newspaper. Most newspapers now use a, a beneficial type of ink that's not going to harm your um, soil. That's an important one to make sure of. Um, Monterey County Weekly uses a soy, soy ink, so it's not going to harm your soil. Um, another thing that's great about using newspaper or uh, paper bags uh, to put down um, as, a, as a, a weed suppressor um, underneath mulch on your uh, soil, and mulch is really, it, it actually is a type of mulch because mulch is really any cover that you use um, over soil. But what's most beneficial about this is it's going to decompose really quickly and when it does decompose it's going to feed your soil. Unlike those never, we should never be using those plastic or anything synthetic. Synthetic is a fancy word for uh, man-made. We should never be using any synthetic or plastic covers to suppress weeds and there's so many reasons for that. Just take a walk around and if you see any garden or any landscape that's ever used that plastic cover you'll see it popping up everywhere. It just looks unsightly. It usually, usually only stays hidden for about six months before it starts naturally popping up. Um, so it's very unsightly, but it also, um, even though it's much slower to decompose, which is why people like to use it, it uh, when it does decompose, which it does, it puts harmful, chem harmful chemicals into the soil that makes your soil not as healthy. And it also, uh, traps uh, weed seeds because weed seeds are constantly flying around on the top of it so it's not going to suppress your weeds for very long anyway because weed seeds are just going to go on top of it and and grow up um, on top of it so you might as well use something that is that can decompose and just make it part of your annual um, gardening to make sure that you put another layer down if you want that weed suppression but newspaper is great for this if I just take a layer 
I have some plants here. I'm just going to put them around the plants because I want those to grow. Um, but I don't want any plants to grow around in these other areas for right now. So I just put uh, a layer of newspaper down and then I cover it with about um, two to four inches of mulch, whatever mulch I choose. Uh, you don't want to do more than four inches um, because then you're not going to get that nice uh, airflow. In this case, the newspaper is going to also stop some of that airflow, but I'm fine with that because I don't want anything growing in here anyway. But uh, if you're, especially if you're going around a tree, you want to make sure that you only have four inches of mulch because that tree is going to need lots of airflow to be healthy. And if you have too much mulch because you really want to make sure you're getting rid of all those weeds, you're also going to make it so that the airflow that the rest of your plants need um, is greatly limited. So you want to it's there you want to strike that balance. So I am going to put about two to three inches, four inches, and I just pour it in that and then I spread it around. You can't even tell that that newspaper is there. And now I've got that nice home for the microorganisms. It's going to decompose and make my soil healthy. It's going to uh, make it so I have to water this a lot less because it's holding in that uh, moisture and it's suppressing all of the weeds. I'm not going to get a bunch of weeds I have to pull out. When the weed seeds blow on top of this mulch, they're not um, going to be very strong, so they're going to be super easy to pull out. And the other great thing about mulch is it makes uh, your landscaping look really finished and polished and really nice. So mulch is just a magic um, thing for your garden that we should always be using. And here are some other types of mulches for you. This decomposing tree is making mulch for the forest. This falling tree is creating mulch for the forest. This path has weed control due to the mulch that has been put on it intentionally by humans and also has naturally fallen there from the woods. This herb is overgrowing in the school garden, so what I'm gonna do is trim it back and I can use its cuttings for mulch that where there's bare soil in my own yard. Leaves make an excellent mulch and they are free of charge courtesy of Mother Nature. They break down very, very nicely as you can see and provide a lot of nourishment for the soil. Here at Chautauqua Hall, they have a lot of bare earth. If these leaves weren't here, there'd be a lot of bare soil. If they're smart, they'll leave these leaves to decompose just where they're at to nourish the earth and conserve water for their garden. The pine needles that are falling from these trees become a mulch that keeps unwanted plants from growing in this area. Also, the large trees are blocking sun, which makes it so that the grass and other vegetation has a harder time growing. Grass is a common ground cover, but because it takes up so much water and fertilizer to maintain, it typically isn't considered an environmentally friendly option. often used as a ground cover but as you can see it turns into a mess and starts choking out everything else so it is a very poor choice this tree it has ivy almost going all the way up it but that is why ivy needs to be in a container and not allowed to spread wild because it can choke out. This ivy has taken over this tree and grown all the way up it and will eventually suffocate 
and kill it if it hasn't already by taking all of its resources away from it. And you can see how that has happened to several of the trees. This is the Carmel walking path. And even there in the distance, there's a tree that's covered with ivy. It's getting, eventually will be just become choked out. And you can see if you go up it, it's pretty much already dying. I don't know if it's dying of the ivy, but if it wasn't already dead, the ivy would eventually get it. Right, Vivian? Yeah. 